is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wants. We do not know what Mother wanted. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What in all yarns be the hat been doing? We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Tear. Are you coming with us? some of them. Tonight, we also got our first big look at God of War Ragnarok. Herman, what can you tell us about where Santa Monica Studio is going with this one? You know, like many of the fans, I'm personally really, really invested in the relationship between Kratos and Atreus. We got to see in the trailer that there's some real tension brewing between them as Ragnarok approaches. So, you know, I can't wait for players to see how that relationship between them evolves. And you gotta trust me when I say that Santa Monica Studio have prepared quite a few twists and turns for players as they set up the finale of the Norse saga in God of War Ragnarok. We're gonna get an update on God of War Ragnarok from Santa Monica Studio here in just a moment. We're joined now by Eric and Corey from Santa Monica Studio. And I wanted to check in with you two on the big announce we saw just a few minutes ago, God of War Ragnarok. We finally got our first big look at it. And actually, Eric, I wanted to start with you. You've been involved with every single God of War, including 2018's God of War, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Sid. I've been with the studio since uh, 2004 uh, in many different capacities, working with both Santa Monica and Randy at Dawn on the God of War franchise. And uh, I don't know why, but they thought it'd be a good idea to say, hey, do you want to direct this one? And so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm directing God of War Ragnarok, or as Corey likes to call it, never heard of it. Um, so that's the update on that. So Eric, uh, why the shift in leadership on God of War Ragnarok? Um, it's always been a tradition here at Santa Monica to change the directors across the games. You know, we've had really good success with that. I, I, Corey's been the only repeat director and, you know, rightfully so. He's pretty damn good at what he does. So that's kind of what it is. The important thing for us is to be able to kind of get a fresh perspective each time. Uh, but also, you know, a fresh pair of legs in the sense that you're really exhausted at the end of finishing one of these things. So you got to con somebody else into doing it, like him. 
So Eric, what aesthetics or themes sort of resonate with you as a creative? I mean, I, I guess what I'm getting at is like, how, how do you see yourself leaving your fingerprints on God of War Ragnarok? It's kind of the designer in me wants to answer one way, but as a director, you have to answer a different way. I think you have to learn how to jettison your own a profession when you when you switch over to the director's role, which I'm sure Corey can uh, understand. I mean, he kind of animated a little bit on God of War 2, and we kind of had to throw it all out, except for that sneaky backflip that Kratos has never done again that we left in. But that's the perk of being the director, I guess. Um, but, you know, from my point of view, like, we want to tell a very heartfelt and epic story as, you know, a father and son go on a journey, and they, they kind of struggle with holding on with, to stuff and letting go of things. You know, it's a, a very difficult kind of human condition that we all deal with. And uh, we kind of want to arrive at that by taking like slices of life or family, you know, drama, if you will, and kind of juxtapose that against the big Norse backdrop. And, you know, at the end, we just want to have an ending that feels very, you know, surprising yet inevitable based on all those things. But it's, it's kind of, you know, I'm from the Midwest, so like slice of life, very common mundane things are just as interesting as big world events. And so we try to collide those things together, it's, you know, make an experience that's very worthy of the God of War name. So with the game officially being called God of War Ragnarok, um, I guess it, it doesn't take a genius to think that perhaps Ragnarok factors into this game in some manner. C can you confirm that, Eric? Yeah, I mean, you can't call the game God of War Ragnarok and not have Ragnarok happen in the game. So, you know, it's, it's gonna happen. We're gonna cap off the Norse series with it. Um, and I think Chris Judge said it best in the announced trailer last year, prepare yourselves. The last game ended with a teaser of sorts for Thor. And I just gotta know, was that Thor's voice we heard in the trailer just a few minutes ago? That was definitely Thor's voice uh, that we heard in the trailer. Uh, Thor is being played by Ryan Hurst, um, which you might know him from uh, Sons of Anarchy. He played Opie, one of my favorite characters ever. Um, and we're just delighted to have him come play in the God of War sandbox. And uh, his take on Thor and our take visually on Thor is very different than the, the hunky Australian you might know. You know, he's much closer to the uh, Norse mythology version. You know, he's this big, burly, almost hedonistic man-child, red hair, you know, left-handed, just just a little off kilter than the Thor that a lot of people know right now. So I can't wait for people to experience more of that when the game's done. We also heard the name Odin in tonight's trailer. So I imagine if we're gonna experience Ragnarok, Odin's gonna have to play a pretty big role here, right? Definitely, I mean, Odin is the all-father of all the realms, so he's gonna show up when Ragnarok happens. Um, we are very, very happy to have uh, Mr. Richard Schiff come on to play Odin for us. Uh, you may know him as Toby from the West Wing. Um, this was one that we never thought was gonna happen. It was like kind of a shot in the dark, and uh, he got back to us, and we walked him around the mocap volume, and he was just like, I've never done anything like this before, let's do it. And uh, so the kind of rest is history. So I can't wait for people to experience that and see how he factors in. And it's a very different take again, much like Thor. You know, he's like a old man who's just kind of busy with his own things and doing whatever he wants. And uh, he's, he doesn't live in a castle or anything like that. So it's, it's a, again, a different take, kind of what we do. We just take what's known and curveball it a little bit and you know, make it special. We also saw a couple of new characters tonight. So what can you tell us about them? Are you talking about the little squid? <laughs> oh no, you're talking about Tyr, Tyr the big guy, yeah. Yeah, he's the, the Norse God of War. Um, and the Kratos and Trace have finally found him. We, we talked a lot about him in 2018, so we were like, well, we might as well show him to the people. And then the last character we saw at the trailer, you know, like with the little wink and smile from Anger Boda, she's one of the last remaining giants. Um, and her story is pretty amazing and how it fits into the world of God of War. Um, Tyr is being played by uh, Ben Prendergast, um, who's been completely absorbed in the role, even though he is not a giant as Tyr is. Um, and then uh, Anger Boat is being played by uh, Leia De Leon Hayes, who's a complete treasure on set. She's been amazing. Watching her chemistry with the other characters has been amazing. And she's one of the last giants that's living. So we have those characters and a few more. And, you know, there's a lot of different monsters you saw in there. And, there's been so many talented people at the studio building this trailer and putting it together. I just want to give a shout out to the team. I love you guys. You know, I wish you could be here doing this interview with me. I wish you were all behind me right now at the studio. Um, that would have been completely amazing. And, you know, lastly to our fans, uh, we have a saying at the studio that we are fans of our fans. And I cannot wait to watch all the tweets, the messages, the reaction videos that you guys put out and, and our, our team to be able to take that into heart and uh, just get excited and hyped and then uh, use that to push us through to finish the game for you guys. So thank you very much. Now, Corey, we haven't heard a whole lot out of you here tonight. So now that we know you're not directing God of War Ragnarok, I was hoping maybe you could give us a little clue about what you may or may not be working on next. 
Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like me to just spill the beans and tell you everything that's going on right now. We're actually doing a bunch of stuff. It's really exciting, all the things that we're doing, and you're tempted to know what is this, but I don't really have anything I can talk about right now, specifically, mostly because we're, we're really focused on God of War Ragnarok, that I am incredibly excited that I finally understand that that's what everyone was saying, God of War Ragnarok. I was way off. I was thinking it was something else that they were talking about. I think we'll we'll wait to, to get any deeper into anything else until later. We'll talk again, Sid. All right. Well, thank you, Corey, and thank you, Eric.